All right, what's going on my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to the channel, By The Dip. All right, guys, man, I'm really hyped up in this video. I have something really special and planned out for you guys. We're going to talk about three different stocks and opportunity for you guys in this video today. So I hope you sit down, enjoy this video. And what we're going to talk about, number one, Airbnb coming public, that is right. Airbnb is going to be on the New York Stock Exchange, looking to be here very soon. Number two, we're going to talk about Arkimoto and a big deal that they just got with DHL and delivering. And the third one is going to be another sports betting company. It's going to be Genius Sports, not Genius Brands, but Genius Sports out of the London, UK. And they're going to be hitting the market in a SPAC here as well. So guys, sit down, get tight. Get your soda and popcorn and let's get into this video, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we go. First, we're going to get into Airbnb and we're going to talk about this right here. Airbnb chooses the NASDAQ as its IPO venue. And as you can see here, basically in August, Airbnb executes announced the company beginning the public journey about going to its IPO evaluation. On October 27th, Airbnb, Airbnb officially shared that it's choosing the NASDAQ for its stock IPO, shunning the New York Stock Exchange as a noteworthy maneuver. So there it is, man. It's official. They are coming. Here's a post on Twitter. Airbnb said on Tuesday that it plans to list on the New York on the NASDAQ Exchange, which will be one of the most eye-catching initial public offerings in 2020. Hashtag Airbnb and NASDAQ. So when is the IPO date? I think this is a very key thing we need to get into. Since Airbnb filed the IPO confidentially, we don't have a firm date for its market debut. However, reports suggest that the company is planning to release the date sometime at the, after the November presidential election and Airbnb stock could be available as soon as December. So it's looking like we are looking to be around December, guys and possibly have an Airbnb go public, which is huge. Now we're gonna talk about what is another key thing, the evaluation. So Airbnb's IPO price isn't set yet, but it's evaluation is. So with a confidential filing, a company doesn't have to reveal how many shares it's offering to investors right off the bat. This means we can't garner a pre-share price from a projected IPO valuation, however, we know that Airbnb expects to raise $3 billion over the course of its IPO, which would make it the largest release on the NASDAQ since Facebook's IPO in 2012. So I think that is huge news that Airbnb is looking to raise as much money as, they, as Facebook did back eight years ago. So Airbnb is setting the bar really high right now, guys. They want a lot of money. They, you know, they got to get through the pandemic here. So um, we'll get down here. So look out for the release of the Airbnb stock ticker. Despite Airbnb's valuation falling by $13 billion since 2017, of course, you know, the pandemic and all really hurt everything. And I think that is, yeah, just talking about the stocks and all there. So that's pretty much it for that. And here's the other part that was really cool on Airbnb we're going to get into. This was posted here on Market the Business Insider. And this here says Airbnb approves a two for one private stock split as shares rips higher, report says. So basically, there is, I guess, in the private market, there's only a certain amount of people that's allowed to possibly get these shares. And it's talking about certain price points. So we need to get into that here. So here's some of the bullet points. Airbnb's board approves a two-for-one private split as the value of its shares has ripped higher, Bloomberg reported. The stock split, which comes into effect on Tuesday, would make it easier for retail investors to participate in the company's initial public offering because of the lower cost of each share. Which is why like Apple and them do a four-to-one stock split, Tesla and them, because people can't spend four and five hundred dollars on a stock you know, it's easier to get it down at a cheaper price. And people maybe not like the fractional shares, they actually want to own a whole share. Um, so here it says, 
The value of home rentals private held shares have climbed 10.4% since the end of the second quarter. Airbnb play, plans to raise $3 billion through its IPO in December, giving it a valuation more than $30 billion. So here it says that they have approved the two-for-one stock split privately held for shares of its initial public offering slated for December, reported on Sunday. And if we get down to here. So here we go. Key, key price points are here. Prior to the stock split, the shares were valued at $69.76 as of September 30th. From 63.15 at the end of the second quarter, according to an email reviewed by Bloomberg. Following the split, the common shares were worth $34.88 each as of September 30th. The market value of the total number of Airbnb shares after the stock split remains unchanged. So, I don't know how I feel about that in the sense that there's already people getting to scoop these stocks up at a certain price, but I still think that there is a lot of room for this to grow. If we just take, for example, Big Commerce, which is like a Shopify, look what happened to that, man. That thing IPO'd, I think it was like $80 or something crazy like that. And it did shoot up over a hundred. So, I mean, if we can get Airbnb for like under 40 bucks a share, then there's a great opportunity that this thing will have a sh short term like spike of everybody wanting it. Then it'd probably be a huge sell off and try to level out after that. But that is the news for Airbnb. So now we're going to get into the stock number two that I wanted to talk about in this video. And it's going to be a good one. Arkimoto, you may never heard of it. I did a few videos on it on my channel in the past. So, here is Arkimoto. Here is the big news, man. On October 26, Arkimoto partners with DHL to provide nationwide home delivery of electric fund vehicles. Yes. So, huge, huge news here. Right here is the article on it through Business Wire. It's a Berkshire Hathaway company. So, a Warren Buffett company in a sense, <laughs> you could say. But here it is. Arkimoto and DHL, they teamed up and they're gonna be doing business together, man. So that is really, really huge news. So it says here, Arkimoto, the makers of the fun utility vehicle and rapid responder and deliverator, affordable, practical, and joyful, pure electric vehicles of everyday commuters and fleets, announced today it's gonna partner with DHL to for nationwide home delivery and i know like this thing is like a um electric hybrid in a sense where it's purely electric has a small little you know battery in there it's like kind of like a i don't know man it's kind of like a four wheeler slash motorcycle kind of deal i don't really know but it is cool looking um i think it's pretty neat and i think it's you know it's really affordable i think this thing's like twelve thousand dollars so that is really nice. Now you're not, it has a little storage in the back. It's not going to be like it's not going to replace a car. Let's put it that way. But in big cities and stuff, or where it's always sunny out and it's hot out, you know, maybe you don't feel safe on a motorcycle, but you possibly feel a little bit safe in this thing because it has like you know a roll cage and all in it. So that would make you feel a little better. And here is another article on. Another website where it says Arkimoto plans to build 50,000 electric trikes. So I guess you could say, yeah, it's a trike. It's basically what it is because it is three wheeled. So Arkimoto plans to build 50,000 electric trikes per year and will deliver to your door in partnership with DHL. So that is huge. Here is another picture of the Arkimoto right there. And yeah, it says they were initially aiming for 2,000 units a year. But now they're going to get ramped up to 50,000. So that is a huge deal that they originally were aiming for 2,000. And now they jumped up to 50,000. So that's a 20, what is that? 2,500 increase, 2,500 percent increase of their, uh, you know, ramped up how much they're going to make. And right here it says you can have a new EV for 12,000, but you're going to have to make some sacrifices. And I mean, pretty much the sacrifices are... There's not much space. I think you can only have maybe two people. It's like one in the front, one in the back, and there's not much storage. So it's kind of be hard for two people to go grocery shopping in it. I think it's just more of a go around town fun kind of vehicle. But I really like it. I mean, I think it's really cool. 
And I think it's great for people that, you know, maybe can't do a motorcycle, but they can get in and hop around on this thing. So here it says, uh, FUV's price has gone up in those few years, now starting at $17.9, but still least expensive electric car you can buy in the US. It's got 77 horsepower, a pair of motors powering from the front wheels, which is good enough for 75 mile an hour top speed, and it goes zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds. The trike weighs about 1,300 pounds as shipped, so it could be quite pricey could quite sprightly around town. So light vehicle and everything like that. And a lot of other things, man, they're partnering in here. Like, you know, they have the Wahlburgers down in Florida. They're getting in with them. Next year, they're trying here to say they want to get into Alaska and Hawaii with international deliveries, plan for 2022. This, this thing here has a lot of opportunity, man. A lot of opportunity. Um, a couple other big things that they had here they, uh, they're, they're participating in the electric vehicle webinar for Maxim Group and Invest on October 22nd. And they also teamed up with the Baltimore at the Baltimore Ravens Stadium for the 2026 World FIFA World Cup. So that's some other big news right there. They're, they're definitely in the news and they are getting their name out there. Now, maybe we should talk a little price point. Right now, Arkimoto... We'll pull it up here on Robin Hood's 576. Now, this is an EV play. Maybe it's it's similar to maybe like Solo. And Solo right now is like $2.50. Arkimoto, I actually had this stock before and I bought it and sold it and made a profit. I sold it around a $6 in some range, so I'm glad I did because it's cheaper now and I can get back in if I'd like to. And I think this is going to be a play that it's going to take a year or two, maybe three to five years. But if they keep up with the way they're doing their business, this thing could hit $10, could hit $15. If they keep getting deals, now that it got DHL, are they going to shoot for FedEx, UPS, Amazon? Now, I don't know how that would work because, you know, this could be huge for like mail carriers, man. Mail carriers, if they made them... They come out with other vehicles that have a little bit more space. They can put some boxes in there for the mail carriers. Could be good. So there's a lot of opportunity. But I think and maybe if the business keeps ramping up and getting new deals and keeps in the news and they keep growing and selling vehicles and their reports come out and they start making profit, this could easily be a $10 stock in the next three to five years, I'd say. So that would be my price point on this stock but yet again you never know man stocks have a mind of their own and they like to do what they like to do so guys and the last one we're going to talk about here today is genius brands no i'm messing with you guys i'm messing with you it's not genius brands but uh it is a genius it's genius sports so genius sports is going to go public in a 1.5 billion deal with spac dmy tech 2 so this is kind of huge news because it's coming out of London. So right here it says Genius Sports is a London-based sports data provider. So that's what they do. Sports data technology Genius Sports Group is going public with a 1.5 billion deal with the blank check firm of DMY Technology 2. People are familiar with the matter set as believe it's the first sport-related SPAC involved in the UK. So I think that's huge that it is the first SPAC deal involving gambling in a sense, sports betting in the UK. It's, so that's a good market. We know they love their soccer over there. So there's probably a lot of people betting money on soccer games over there. So it says here, DMY2 has about 276 million held in escrow from its IPO and will raise more than 300 million from its institutional and industry investors investors and a pipe offering at $10 a share. So they're gonna start out at the SPAC at $10 a share and raise up money that way. So it says here that they should complete the transaction in the first quarter of 21 with the new company listed on the New York Stock Exchange, likely with the ticker Genie, sources close to the transaction told Sportico. So might be seeing Genie up on the New York Stock Exchange, and you'll know what that is now. So it says here, Genius Sports acquires data from 240,000 sports events 
annually. Distributing the data in sports bet operators, Genius has officials deal 170,000 of those events with official data feed and live sports statistics. London-based company has relationships with the English Premier, NCAA, NBA, FIFA, and NASCAR, among other organizations. So down here it says too, Genius Sports was founded in 2000. It's a bet genius service has been applying, supplying bookmakers for 15 years and arranges with 150 globally, according to Genius Sports website. So. In a sense, we have another SPAC here, but there, it sounds like they're just strictly sports betting and they're not doing gambling. So we have taken some key things here. It sounds like it's just gonna be sports betting only and no casino style games. And number two, it's London based, so it's gonna be strictly London. So starting out a $10 price point, I don't know. It's a, it's a very interesting. It's a very interesting thing, and this is one of these ones, man. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, you know, who knows right now with with these spacks and stuff? They always seem to have a little bit of pop at the beginning, and then it sells off, and you know, it's just hard to give a price point on a, on another sports betting spack because you know how it is, man. It's it's just tough to pick these spacks. It takes a while be on the NASDAQ and earn your place, but I still think this thing has an opportunity. It depends on the management. I don't know too much about that and who's behind it, but this is one to keep an eye on. That's why I wanted to bring it to your attention. So Airbnb is looking to be around $37 a share, maybe $40 a share when it hits the uh, NASDAQ. FUV you can pick up right now for $5 and change, and this thing is gonna merge Genius Sports will merge in the first quarter of 2021. So guys, there's a lot of information in this video. Um, if, you pre if you appreciate these style of videos where we talk about different stocks, guys, hit the thumbs up. Really helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below. I will reply back to you. I enjoy reading everyone's comments, whether it's positive, negative. I take constructive criticism very well. I don't care. Give it to me, and I will reply back. So... All right, guys, hit the thumbs up. Join the Thumbs Up Nation, man. I appreciate all you guys' love and support, and I will catch you in the next one. And remember to buy the dip.